what's up slabberoonies it's Steve I don't have a uh, camera on me I don't have a fancy camera just got the GoPros today uh, we were out here yesterday just filming and did a little bit of fishing and actually caught a really nice six and a half pounder we'll go ahead and roll the clip there on this one one more yeah there's a good one that's a good one guys that's a big one yeah that's a giant it's a giant it's a giant. Come on this side, come on. No, 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 here, this side. Here, he's ready. Oh my God. Get him in. Oh God, yeah, baby, baby. Let's, let's go. go. Yes. Let's go. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's stay off this. There might be another one there. That's an absolute tank. It's an absolute, it's an absolute tank. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's like, that's like a seven right there. So yeah, that was pretty sweet. I'm back out here today, it's Sunday. That happened yesterday. And I'm gonna try to go figure out that pattern, see if we can't run some of these uh, riprap banks and uh, throw the A-rig and uh, possibly see if we can catch a really big limit. So again, just doing that with the GoPros today, so bear with me, but should still be pretty sweet. So let's get it. There's one guys, finally got one. Feels pretty good. Oh yeah, he's decent. Decent one right there. First fish, chunky little two something maybe. We're gonna go ahead and weigh him just so we got a limit on. He is 2.46. 2.46, not bad, it's a start. All we need is another 17 point something pounds. <laughs> All right, thank you, buddy. Nice, good one. That was a weird bite, y'all. He, uh, I uh, kind of twitched the A-Rig a couple times and thought I was uh, about to get hung up. I thought the bait was coming in to get hung up. I could feel some weight and then all of a sudden he was just on there so interesting uh interesting bite there a little point for y'all they definitely come on those little twitches i'm almost twitching it like a jerk bait and that just makes that whole a-rig flare makes it look like some baits just kind of scurrying away and i swear looking back on a lot of my a-rig footage a lot of those bites come after that initial twitch so definitely a good idea to keep twitching the bait as you're fishing it That feels like a decent one. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Oh, come on to me, baby. Be a school here. Oh, it's a striper. No way. I caught a striper. That's not a bad striper either. Holy crap. Oh, I gotta take a picture to show the boys. They're gonna be jealous. <laughs> I think that's a striper, maybe a hybrid. 
I can't tell. He's got some bands. Man, he's crazy. Come on, settle down, bro. Oh, wow, that is sweet. You know how big he is. He's like maybe two and a half, three pounds, something like that. I don't know. Sweet. Looky there. That's awesome. I was not filming on this guy, but. Oop. Striper. In Jordan Lake. What do you know? Hybrid, maybe. I'm not sure. Y'all let me know in the comments. Let's see if we can get another one. All right, so I just looked up the striper limits for Jordan Lake, and striper limits are weird. They're different, like, everywhere you go, it seems like, even uh, within the state. They apply differently to different bodies of water, and for Jordan Lake, they have to be 20 inches, and I'm not sure this guy's 20 inches, so we're going to try to fish him out here and measure him. He doesn't go crazy on us. Oh, I don't think he's 20. Stop it. Stop being crazy. Oh, he's definitely not 20. Dang, that's a nice striper too. Can't keep him. These things are so good to eat, man. 20 inches, that's a big old striper. I mean, this guy's 18. That's a nice one. All right, goodbye. Oh, maybe there's some bigger ones down there. We'll see. You know, I, I guess it's a good thing that they have that big of a limit for striper the 20 inches because man i've only heard that this lake is not good for striper they used to stock them a while back i guess they stopped stocking them and they really declined and there haven't been striper in here for a long time I, not good populations of them at least people would catch them every now and then and they'd be real small that was the biggest one i've ever caught out of here i've really only caught like three like that was the third striper i've ever caught out of this lake and uh that was a good size i mean that was that was a decent one but i guess i kind of feel the the state putting such a strict limit on them just so they can possibly have a chance to grow and and make a comeback which would be awesome it'd be great to come out here and be able to catch you know decent sized striper oh another one guys there's another one that's a better one right there that's a much better one hopefully that's a bass that'd be really sweet I don't think it is I think it's another striper yep another striper oh on a school of stripers come in here man it's a nice one I don't know if he's 20 either though, y'all. I don't think he is. He's just a little bigger than the last one. Stop it. Stop, stop it. Another striper, y'all. Not 20 inches again, but just a nice, nice healthy one. Man, that's, that's so cool. I have not caught striper consistently like this in Jordan Lake ever. So really cool to see these things making a comeback. Whoop. Nice. So guys, I think these, these striper are down on the bottom in about, uh, like they're right around here, you know, in like this 10, um, nine, 10 foot range. So I'm out here and you know, 15, 16, 17 foot casting up there, making these long casts. Luckily, the wind's behind me, so I can make a long bomb cast. <clears throat> and then I'm just, I am creeping this A rig on the bottom. Like it's barely, barely moving. 
and I'm twitching it every now and then, of course. And I almost feel like they bite it when I come over like a rock or something like that. I mean, they're really situated like, just like a regular bass would be, you know. <sighs> Sitting behind some of these big boulders offshore. There he is, yep. There's another one, guys. Oh. Another striper, another bass, I'm not sure. It's not jumping, so I'm gonna say it's a striper. Yep. Striper! Cool. That's so cool. Again, not big enough to keep, but just so much fun. I mean, that's three in about 10 minutes. Golly, these things just move around. Boom! Cool fish. So, so cool that these things are, are back and doing well in Jordan Lake. That is really cool. What a fun fish to catch. Man, that is awesome. Let me back up real quick and show y'all my A-Rig setup here. So this is what I'm throwing. This is my do everything A-Rig. So what I've got going on here, guys, is I've got the middle bait rigged with a, you know, regular swim bait hook. This is a Dirty Jigs HD head. And then these bottom two outside ones, what I do is actually put belly weighted swim bait hooks. And what that does is it keeps it very weedless. I rarely hang up with this thing. I get stuck, but I can usually flick it out and, and get the bait to come unlodged. I rarely get hung up to the point where I have to break it off. And that's the number one thing I see people you know, not wanting to fish an A-Rig for is they're afraid of losing all this tackle. I mean, you've got like, between the hooks and the swim baits and the A-Rig itself, you've got like $30, $40 worth of tackle on here. So I can totally understand that. But putting these Texas rig or, or belly weighted swim bait hooks on the bottom two outside ones, I promise you that will save you a lot of headaches and a lot of hangups. And uh, these are eighth ounce, I believe. And in the middle one, I've got, uh, I, I wanna say either a three eighths ounce or a half ounce. I believe that's a three eighths. Uh, and then the top ones, I don't have hooks on them. Uh, and I just rig them with a, um, uh, it's like a centering pin uh, screw lock, a uh, owner um, screw lock. So this is also a Picasso uh, school E-Rig, A-Rig. And guys, I'm telling you, this bait right here, I've got it super glued on here. And these two, I've got them super glued on, on the front. I have not changed out these swim baits or this A-Rig in like a year and a half. I'm not even kidding. I mean, literally this exact setup, these guys have popped off a few times, but these three baits right here have caught like hundreds of fish and I have not changed them. They haven't torn or ripped off or anything like that. I better knock on some wood, but really, really solid, sturdy setup. So get you one. All right, guys, well, that is a wrap on today. We didn't catch any more stripers, but that's all right. We caught three, which was pretty cool. Wasn't expected, so that's always great when you catch something that you didn't expect to even catch in the first place. But uh, came up a little short of our 20 pound goal for today uh, for bass or a five fish limit. Uh, only had one decent fish at two and a half pounds. Missed another bite that y'all probably are not gonna see on camera, but uh, really it just, just wasn't happening today in the bass world. So, but hey, striper was fun. That was cool. I've got a new spot that I can come back to hopefully. Uh, yeah, great day. But hey guys, if you liked this video and if you're seeing Slab Dynasty for the first time, I hope that y'all will consider giving the video a like first off. And second of all, subscribing to our channel. We really are growing fast, guys, and we're putting out a lot of new videos. If you like fishing, if you consider yourself an avid fisherman, please subscribe to the channel. I don't think you'll regret it. I think you're gonna love our content that we're coming out with, and we're getting better and better and better. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all liked the video, and remember, all it takes is one fish. See y'all.